Hi Cancer, welcome to your unexpected reading for October 2020. Everything you need to know about this reading is in the description box below. If this is about you and another person, this could resonate with theirs or your moon rising or Venus sign. And just FYI, um, across the board for these, it seems like October is opening up for everybody. Um, I, it's like that whatever you've been waiting for hits in October. And I'm pretty sure there's some astrological stuff going on. So um, it just it feels like there's a lot of movement. It's like it feels windy. Like there's just stuff moving and going. And yeah, <laughs> stuff comes in. It arrives. <laughs> All right, Cancer. Unexpected for Cancer. October 2020. Ace of Wands, Four of Cups. That's funny because this has shown up um, quite a bit. It's like, okay, there's a lot going on, but maybe sit this one out. <laughs> maybe. Okay, so Four of Cups and the High Priestess. That could be Pisces or Cancerian. Six of Cups. Two of Swords. Ooh, Two of Cups. What is going on there? Okay. All right. So things are good. Things are, things are okay here. Let's cancer. Temperance. Sagittarius. Okay. So, yeah, there's... We, all right. Things are okay. Everything is good. There's been hiccups, but for cancers I'm meaning for it, it's, it, it's good. Everything's good. But then is it's like are you kind of bored with good? Like what's what's this four of cups about? Four of cups for cancer. Hangman, that could be Pisces. Wow, is this you okay, what's this high priestess about? I'm thinking about somebody. Okay, so are you thinking of moving? Are you thinking you're thinking about something? Um, you might be in a position to because everything is stable right now. What's this Six of Cups for Cancer? Eight of Pentacles. Eight of Pentacles. Okay. Hmm. Two of Swords. Keeping that balance, but why? Oh. So you got someone you're still... Alright, so this is... Just fine. This is probably a romantic reading. So if that's not your thing, you can check out. I mean, I get it. Because these could go either way. And this in, indeed is about a person here. So um, this feels like someone you are thinking about quite a bit. Um, but the thing is, it could be that you're thinking about them because you're getting ready to level up, like you're, you're letting go. So it's when you're letting go, it's an active process and you're thinking about it. Um, hmm. Still on the fence though. Still on the fence. So there, it looks like there might be a consideration to try and work on things from the past. Looks like you're turning away from doing that. What's this two of cups? And is it because somebody knew? Wow. Okay. Ten of cups. All right. This is working its way out. And this is about you putting it to rest once and for all. This could be still thinking about past situations in the background. Um, and it kind of shifts from not working out with the person, like not to, to what can you kind of reshape, reform, fix, re-imprint, manage on your end about your past, your attachments, your um, things that you've kind of held on to for quite some bit, or quite some bit, quite some time. So this is... It's almost like it shifts from you kind of focusing on things with a person 
to letting that go, kind of letting that get out, and then thinking about you, what to literally work on, um, what can be kind of fixed, managed, you know, looked at because you're out of the trauma period. So this is something leaving your life. The focus is on you and how you want things differently. And it kind of feels like you're saying um, no to some sort of offer or reconciliation because I don't know. I, I, if, if, if it's not an active offer that comes in that asks if you want to try again, if you literally, somebody from your past is like, you want to work on things, this is you working on your stuff and then putting it to rest. Um, this is you not dealing with it anymore, not like being at peace with it, being like, you know what, I don't need to mess with it anymore. I'm good. I get it. I understand now. Life is good. I'm allowed to accept it being good and not have to worry, but that's, sometimes it's hard to do. You know what I mean? It's like, you're going to worry about, there's nothing to worry about. That makes you worry, you know? <laughs> so that's okay. Um, this is interesting though. So I, I think you're putting an offer to rest or putting an attachment to rest. And then what do we have here? I mean, what, what's, is this you letting go of that and you've got, do you have something in the works and it's stirring up feelings of a past connection? What's this two of cups with the 10 of cups? This is interesting. Seven of cups or seven of uh, swords. Are you, did you meet someone online? Are you thinking of meeting someone online? Are you thinking about putting yourself out there? Are you, or is this just more thinking and ruminating about what you want in partnership, about what would make you happy? This is you. Things are good. Things are stable. Things are flowing. You've got something from the past that you've been really thinking about trying to process here. And it looks like you lay it to rest um, in October. Honestly, this is kind of low key for an unexpected reading because it's, I don't understand why it's unexpected that you decide to, um, to, to not fuss with something anymore. What's this two of swords about and six of cups? Uh, So uh, this looks like somebody has presented already an apology, an offer, um, recompense, making it right, atoning, and you turn them away. It's like you um, sort of broken free from something that just didn't feel right anymore. And you realize that you like where you're at, you're good where you're at, and this is about something new. This is about finding something new, not trying to re rework something old, whether it's just the memory and the nostalgia and the sentimental attachment. But this feels like an offer has come in. It's not showing here, but it feels like an offer has come in and you've decided against it. You've given it a lot of thought. There's The thing is, oh, this is, this is layered. You're still attached to the person. You're still attached, but you there's probably this realization that it's just, it might not be worth it. It might be worth it to work on your attachment to that. It might be worth it to work on your past issues that you had with that person instead of trying to work on it with the person, accept them back, going back and forth, knowing that you're tired. So this is about you. This October is about you. There might be some disappointment. There might be some meh, but you're letting go in October. You're letting go of something. It's time. It's simply, it's time. I mean, because this is waiting for you right here. You got out from under this. You're, you're kind of escaping or you're strategically maneuvering your way out of it. How? Because you're thinking about it a lot and you're coming to some conclusions. And I think the conclusions you're coming to is that it is not meant for you to work on the issues with this person. It is meant for you to work on your issues from your past that made you attracted to or made you want to work it. You know what I mean? Like it, working the issues out with the person is not going to work on you. And it could just be that you need to kind of come to terms with a few things from your past. 
Could be that that's why you chose that type of person because you have unresolved issues from your past. Either way, it's you kind of accepting and coming to terms with a few things and um, putting the past, past connections, past issues to rest. Even though there's an offer to, um, to make things right, there's an apology, there's someone returning maybe asking to work things out. You think about it a lot, you know you have you still have an attachment to them, but uh, it's not it's not what you want. I think there's um, there's a feeling of it just it's got to have some purpose for you and it doesn't feel like it would. It feels like it would just be going through the motions and I think there's a semblance of you being kind of coming full circle with it realizing that and wanting to choose what's in front of you the possibility of what's in front of you or just the options, the new, the new chance, the new potential. Because once you get this resolved with you, the, your stuff, the attachment to the person resolves. So the, because there's something about once you, once you fix your face, <laughs> once you fix yourself, the attachment and the thinking about the person and going back and forth loses its luster and appeal because it was never about them. So just saying, Surprisingly, you do not accept an offer. Surprisingly, you're like, no, leave me alone. One, two, three twos. Okay. And that's 15. No, it's, that's 14, so that's a five. Six. Four, five, six. And three twos. Okay. Yeah, you're opting for security and that's self-sufficiency. So you're on, you're in another secure streak right now. And I think that's why you're debating because you don't want to upset the apple cart. Things are good. And you're in a place where you can think about this and kind of go in and out. Maybe it's a little melancholy, but you don't stay there. But this, it's preferred, this kind of quiet downtime, this thinking time, this introspective time. For the cancers I'm reading for, it's preferred. It bears a lot of fruit. You make sense of a lot of things. You work through a few things. Because you fix you, you're able to let that go. And there's, there's an offer for, maybe it's not for reconciliation, but somebody is, but I think it is because you're turning away, but it could just be that someone's like, what's unexpected is that they come with an apology and they come with kind of wanting to make things right. Maybe that doesn't mean reconciliation, but it does mean someone showing up that sets things to right, that brings you peace and restores sort of your faith in humanity or your faith in relationships and you're able to kind of get that joy back. Maybe it's not with them, but the fact that that apology or that attempt at making amends comes through, that goes a long way for your hopes for future progress, not with the person though. I don't think it's with the person. I really don't. I think that it sets things to right and you are looking at what's in front of you and you feel good about it. It's a calm, kind of quiet, introspective month. I think you've got some communication coming through about an I'm sorry or explanations from someone, um, unexpectedly so, but probably haven't heard from them in a long time. If it's not that, this is the month where you wrap up past attachments to someone and that someone is no longer an issue. This is where you kind of clean house emotionally about someone. Because you might be feeling like it's time to start dating again. Yeah, this was a romantic read. <laughs> All right. What else for Cancerian? Because look, look at that. You're getting out of this one. You're working your way. You're thinking about it. You're getting yourself through this. And then you, what, what's going on there? You can't see that because it's out of frame. The Ace of Wands. It's like, thank you. Next. <laughs> Next. It doesn't have to be a person. But this is fulfillment and happiness with what you align with. It could be this is just you continuing the independent streak. Life is good. Why mess with it? But this shows new, renewed vigor and interest in someone or a project. So, you know. Yeah. That's for cancer. Cancer. Oh. 
five of pentacles look up no looking down no feeling sad or disconnected it it's downtime but it doesn't don't you worry if you're worried if this is worry it's okay oh look at that we got a five here also isn't that funny hmm. i think this is more about the transition and letting go and disconnecting but there could be that layer of worry <laughs> because let's be honest <laughs> you are a cancer <laughs> But it's it's okay. That might just be part and parcel of being a cancer. Hmm. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and five, six, seven, eight. Wow. So five, six, seven, eight, going through the motions. Two fives. Waiting, thinking, processing. right up against the mic. You can totally hear that shuffling. Oof. Huh. Scarab Beetle Spirit. Magic works through you. Yay. Nice. So that's that flow. That's that you kind of going through the motions and letting something exit and putting it at peace. It helps. It goes a long way for that apology or that making amends. Perhaps this is someone paying you back and it sets you to rights, but there's something restorative about it too. So you get some kind of message or some kind of recompense or you're able to, but you're able to put something finally to rest that does a lot to restore and to allow you to let go and move through it so that the magic can, so that you're open for the magic to happen. Magic, magic. All right. This could also be spirit works through you. This is, could be a very intuitive type of month you're kind of laying low you're kind of it's kind of quiet this is a lot of internal stuff but you're kind of just meandering along and you're you're ha you're not mad about it you like it it's calm it's peaceful you meander so it's kind of like a low-key unexpected though because it's all internal it's not like you're gonna go running out in the street and go hey I'm, I'm clear of this. I let it go. I, things are set to rights. Hey! You know, it's just realizations happening. Truce. Peace. Because someone did their part, which set you free. There's a lot of thinking here. But that's all it is. I don't think this is working on the relationship. I think what's done is done. You accept their apology, but then you have new stuff. Eventually. I don't know how eager you are because there's a kind of like a, a sort of a lazy river feel to this. It feels like you're kind of just happy being introspective and not in any hurry. Hierophant reverse. So that could, no, it's not reverse. Is that real? Gosh, oh yeah. It looks like it's reverse, but then that's the way the hat goes, isn't it? The hat, I called it the hat. Oh my God. No, nope, that's upright. Hierophant right and the eight nope seven of pentacles on its side so this could be um a conventional contractual agreement is now not anymore um and the seven of pentacles you see that here too is going from having regrets and feeling like you need to fix it and work on it together to realizing that What's done is done. It's not going to ever be, I shouldn't say ever. It's not right now. Um, this, it's, I hate, for lack of a better phrase, it's broken. This is broken. It's a broken contract or agreement. It is not what is for you. And instead of having regrets, you're coming out of it going, you know what? I'm not going to waste my time on regret. I'm going to think, how does, is this worth my time? An investment of energy and thought and I think this speaks again to you thinking that should I or shouldn't I work on this with this person it gets transmuted to looking at yourself and kind of fixing that piece of yourself or coming to terms with something and because of that 
it's not important to work on things with the person. It sets it to rights. They show up to do their part, but you don't really want to work on it with them anymore because you fix yourself. They lose their appeal and you got new here. All right. Okay. I just don't, I mean, I, because this is, this is more about what's to come and what you, but it doesn't feel like it's connected to this. I can just hear it now. It's like, nope, we're, we're getting together. We got new parameters. We're getting back together. Okay. All right. Whatever you do, though, it becomes a choice instead of feeling like you should. This feels like obligation. You've been thinking about someone. Should I try again? Should we work on things? But unexpectedly, there's an apology. There's sort of an offer or a, someone kind of humbling themselves before you. And you find that that's all that was like that. That was enough for you. And it kind of sets you free to move forward or to look to the future for someone new. Okay. All right. I'm out. <laughs> I hope this was helpful, Cancerian. I hope you realize that it's about you and your um, past and, and you being kind to yourself and letting go of some things and letting go and not fixing yourself through fixing someone else. Either way, this is a good meandering kind of month for you. Laying low, things are secure. You're just kind of figuring stuff out. Rejecting an offer, though. Bet you didn't see that coming. Because this person's been on your mind. All right. Much love to you for this October. I hope to see you in the next reading. Um, I know I was away for a couple weeks. I, I've actually never done that before, but um, had a lot to take care of. So, okay. All right. I hope to see you um, soon. I'll, I'm back to normal now. Okay. Much love to you. Take care.